Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. Amazing. Utterly amazing. The amount of political intrigue in our country right now, is astounding. I don't think most people saw it coming. Some of the most recent developments are mind-boggling. Will the craziness ever subside? It sure doesn't look like it. It feels like a roller coaster, up one day, down the next. I can hardly wait to see what tomorrow holds. I don't mind a little in your face banter here and there, but we have to at least attempt to show a little civility. The violence is uncalled for. So where is all of this headed? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine, but I will say this, I don't think the surprises are over. I think we are going to see an unprecedented level of political maneuvering, some legal, some, not so much. The censorship is very worrisome. It's truly a violation of the Constitution. But hey, if y'all want to haggle it out in Washington DC, knock yourselves out. I live in a small town, and for the most part, we seem to get along pretty well. Small town living isn't what it used to be, but it sure beats living in the big city. Been there, done that, got the wrinkles and gray hair to prove it. Things are more laid back in a small town. We tend to know our neighbors, and we look out for each other. Life's also a bit more traditional in these parts. Most folks here get married, and stay married. My wife loves me, and I love her. I don't know how she puts up with me. She's a good woman. The Lord broke the mold after he made that girl. I will love her till the day I die. I would lay my life down for her in a New York second. And my kids are great too. Great, not perfect. We all pray together every day, and go to church every Sunday. It's amazing to have one of those little ones, look me in the eye and say, I love you Papa. That makes it all worthwhile. Weekends round here are a bit more active. Everybody kinda kicks up their heels a bit on Saturday, nothing crazy, but we all go to church Sunday morning. Our local pastor is a hoot. He usually preaches a fine hellfire and brimstone message, to keep us on the straight and narrow, but always tones it back down in the end. He always preaches straight from the word, and reminds us to seek God with our whole heart, especially now, with what all's going down lately. We're praying for our leaders and all the folks in those big cities that lost their jobs, and their homes. I hope you have been able to avoid the chaos. I truly pray that the Lord blesses you, and keeps you safe. Well hey, I gotta go. I have a few errands to run. It's been fun talking to you. You have a great day okay? I hope you enjoyed this video, cause it won't be up very long. Big Tech shut down my Facebook and Twitter account, and Amazon shut down my only source of income. All because I spoke the truth about censorship. Be careful, Big Brother is watching. Don't worry about that crazy stuff going down in Washington. If it all starts getting too close to home, heck, you could move out here. It's safe here. It's peaceful here. You may not get to keep your Facebook account, but that's alright, cause out here, we talk to folks, face to face. Just remember, when you have faith, all things are possible. So keep your eyes on Jesus, and he will get you through this. I promise. They may take away our freedoms, but hallelujah, they can't take away our faith. Peace be unto you and your house. Give your heart to God, and he'll take care of the rest.